Ready? I'm ready. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Ready? Yes. You ready? You ready? No. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Bringing the oranges back. Well, anyways. Well, hi guys. Welcome back to Tolliver's and Tequila's episode 17. 17! Yes. Um, it's been a weird week because we kind of had to record, re-record episode 17 because of... Uh, Technical difficulties? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think that's one of the... You know what? I think that's that's what this is about right now. What? It's technical difficulties. Not just like technical, but like... Technical technical difficulties because for some reason uh my hard drive decided to take a poop on me and i couldn't read any information at all whatsoever and i was panicking whatever um before we get into that as always guys of course thank you guys for coming out to hang out with us i feel like it's been forever since we last hung out <laughs> <laughs> that shot right there just went down so smooth and great I don't, sorry for the sniffles too. I don't know. Allergies. Allergies suck ass. But yeah, we got the oranges today. If you guys haven't, um, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That helps us out a lot. And be sure to like the video. And also, um, follow us at Talavera underscore studios. It's me, your host, Daniel, and hostess with the mostest, <laughs> Sally's Milkshake. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. How you doing? Howdy, y'all. Chilling. Good. Chilling. And of course, guys, it never doesn't hurt. It or, never doesn't. Mm, I haven't. <laughs> I have. I, <laughs> I haven't <laughs> done that. I haven't done that in a while. I've. I've. I had a really. You haven't never. Yeah, I had a really tough time of uh, getting out of that habit of saying never don't. Never don't. No one doesn't. I said no one doesn't a lot. Oh my god, I would have bullied the shit out of you. Mm. No one doesn't. Yeah, I know. Because yeah, no know. one doesn't doesn't want to listen to me. Yeah. Well, anyways, Sally. <laughs> Sorry. If you guys want to throw a dollar at us, go to uh, buymeacoffee.com slash Talavera Studios. That helps us out with so much stuff about growing with this whole channel. Uh, not just towards this podcast, but just with our filmmaking and weddings and commercials and music videos and like so much more. Like basically just this whole entire production. production. Yeah. Jinx, yummy soda. Hmm. Okay. I want a 44 ounce Coke. Jesus. With extra ice from Circle K. Okay. With the good ice. Mm. I want it at 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? Yeah. That's too early. No, it's for fucking a Coke. not. You never wake up like after a night of drinking and you're like, damn, I need a Coke. And then you drink a Coke and all your problems go away. Okay, you got me there. Yeah. yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, cokes are, cokes are great for a uh, hangover. Why? Mm-hmm. 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 They just taste great. They just, they're just they just life-saving. Yeah. They are. So, mm. episode 17. Yeah. <sighs> it should have been episode 18 right now. Yeah. Yeah, we should be on episode 18 right now, but... You but, know, such as such as life, such as you know, when shit just wants to be thrown at you. Yeah. What do you got to do? Either uh, eat that shit, or you suck it s- up. Suck it up, or scoop it away, push it out of your way, and keep on moving. You just flush it, or you flush it. Yeah, because that's basically what happened to us. Uh, but you know, we we are st- we are doing our best to stick it. Stick with it. Stick with it of, um, you know, uploading a video every single week. 
Of course, our target is to upload every single Tuesday. That's our whole main mission. But if we miss out, well, that's fine. It's like we still have that other seven days of a week. Right? Sure. Sure. Sure, bud. Sure. Yeah, so we're just we're just starting our best with that. That's all you can do, right? With all, you know, technical difficulties. And I what I mean by like technical difficulties too is just technical difficulties. Yeah. There's no other way to put it. I guess. Yeah. But yeah. So <laughs> that's this is like our second time of having to reshoot an episode. Yeah. It is. Is it? It is, huh? It is. Yeah. It is our second time reshooting an episode. That one with the was, bad sound. And it just wasn't working. Mm-hmm. And then the last one too. It's alright. It's alright. Like, it's probably boring. <laughs> You know, we're we're serious about about what we're doing, and it's like we want to be able to provide for you guys of an enjoyable episode. <laughs> Can you believe people actually like us? Uh at first it was kind of weird, but then after a while, I'm like, okay, like it makes sense. Yeah, because it's like, look at you. Don't you're 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 oh, okay. Stop, stop. I was gonna say mean things, but never mind. You're gonna say mean things. Yeah, exactly. Stop. <laughs> don't be a don't be a dick, bro. It's my job. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Anyways. Uh, it's been a week. Yeah, it has. For sure. It's been a couple weeks. Like I said, it feels like it's been forever. Like, hang- not. I mean, not just hanging out with you guys, but hanging out with you too. Yeah, that's true. Like it has been. we just been. Busy. Busy. I hate being too busy because then, like, I'm just tired and, like, annoyed. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, oh, man, this fucking sucks. Yeah. I need more time to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, it's yeah. like, no, we, we still, like, have been able to hang out and stuff, but, like. Not really, though. I mean, yeah, it, but, it's like. like t- yes and no. But not really. But not really. Because it's like, uh, what was it? Like last night we were hanging out, but I was like, okay, well, it's that time. But we couldn't because he had to go to bed early because yeah. he had to wake up in the morning to go to work. Yeah. So, you know, things like that. It's like, oh, shit. Right, right. Which is fine because, you know, we're we're building a future. I guess. We're building a future. That's that's the big picture right there. <sighs> I mean, I, I do apologize again throughout this whole entire episode because like i've been allergies allergies suck all right i feel like people don't really pay attention unless you like say it and bring it up (laughs) i guess so (laughs) i guess so but at the same time just be like oh dude he's fucking picking his nose whatever you know what we all pick our nose at some point in time right so just don't eat it pick my nose Just, <laughs> just, this... just pick them and flick them. Oh, God. That's what <laughs> um, my, my pappy always says. There's this um, one of my nieces. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she like she would like pick her nose and she'd yeah. be like digging like forever. And she just and then she'd be like <laughs> and I'd be like, dude, did you just eat your booger? And she'd be like, no, what are you talking about? And I'm like, I just saw you. I watched you <laughs> as you're telling me a story. You're. Like digging for gold, and you just eat it. Like <laughs> she's all so like this one. Yeah, day, she's like I was all like, you know, but like I was just like you know just hanging out. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> but I'm just like staring at her, and I'm like, stop picking your nose. And she's like, I'm not with her finger in her nose the whole time, and then she'll eat her booger, and I'm just like, bruh, stop. And she's like, what? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Dude, it's it's so, it's so funny like seeing that in public. Like, of, did you just see your booger? No. <laughs> oh, it, all right. It's so funny like catching a kid like in public, like eating their boogers. I'm like, You're obviously, like I'm like maybe nobody is seeing this kid right now, but like I'm witnessing this kid digging for treasure, right? <laughs> and like he pulls it out and he's just like looks at it and he's like, hell yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> and then just like straight up, just like, That's like cleans sick. his finger off, right? Yeah. And he's just like nonchalant, just about his life. And I'm just there, like, 
Did I do that? <laughs> did, did you eat your boogers? Did I eat my boogers? Did I eat my boogers? Yeah, I don't know. Do like, all what, kids eat boogers? Like that's what I'm trying to think of. Is like, do do we all eat our boogers? I don't know. Like without thinking about it, maybe at some point were we ever curious about eating our boogers? Probably. Because like, I don't think I, don't I know. was. But then again, like, so. what, when did you become conscious of your own, like, you know, boogers? No, not boogers, but like, when did you become conscious about your actions? Oh, I don't know. Probably always just because, you know, like growing up with like older cousins or older siblings mm. or people just to like call you, call you out on some bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, oh, fuck, you know, and then they embarrass you. So you're just like never doing that again, <laughs> you know? So for me, it's always kind of been a thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Not I, that eating, eating it's like, boogers, I don't but. think I was a booger kid. Probably you with your allergies. Damn. Well, okay. Damn, I mean, Daniel. That, but it's like, so I guess that like, comes up to the point of um i don't know let me let me text your sister and ask her i, I know right they'd be like oh dude all he ever did was eat his boogers <laughs> all he did they'd was like, sit there on the porch and play with bugs and eat boogers they'd probably <laughs> they'd be like <laughs> no worse <laughs> <laughs> say some other fucked up shit they'd be like oh he had this little secret box of his boogers and bugs ew dude i'm just kidding or, i wasn't like that but did you ever feed your boogers to like grasshoppers I had to think about that because I have no idea. Oh. Because, um, like, it, that does sound like something I would would have done, but... Or frogs. So. Or frogs. <laughs> um, shoot. Oh, yeah. Um, there was this other girl in high school. Uh-huh. And she was a little out there. I don't know. Everyone made fun of her all the time, but... This was a story that I was told. I didn't witness it for myself, but this other girl said that she was watching the class for one of the teachers... And this girl was just, she was just sitting there the whole time, just picking her nose and flicking her boogers away. <laughs> and, um, you know, the girl that was watching the class was like, dude, can you stop doing that? Like, stop picking your nose and flicking your boogers everywhere. And the girl was just like, oh, you know, she was just like, oh, well, my pappy told me to just pick them and flick them. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> just pick them and flick them. Oh, she God. didn't give a shit, bro. She yeah. didn't give a fuck. Not at all. Not at all. She was just constantly just. That's like flicking. like sometimes. Pick him and flick him. Sometimes you could learn a lot from people like that, you know. That's true. That just does not give a fuck. That's true. And it's like, like why why do why do we have to be so conscious of like what Ugh. we do? Oh, like obviously well, to, to mean, an extent, of course. Like boogers to, are gross though yeah, because you know they're, like they're you, gross you germs and, and shit right right well it's like obviously like don't just pick them and flick them <laughs> I, <laughs> but you know have the courtesy of like getting up and you know blow your nose you know throw your napkin away it's like mm-hmm. everybody does that right yeah but not everybody just like picks them and flicks picks them, them and flicks them in front of in front of the whole class <laughs> imagine just being up there for show and tell guys <laughs> I, just, they're I just like do. reading their essay they're just all Meh. God. <laughs> that's gross or they're just like they're just like blah 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 today's essay anyways it's like oh man that was that was that was a toughie right there they're all the lord of the flies <laughs> um anyway that, that one you try to flick but it keeps going on to it. like you flick it but it just like ends up on this finger so you try to f- <laughs> flick stop. it again okay stop just stop oh god boogers right. are that's a weird boogers are weird man i I never seen a podcast where anybody talks about boogers I, that's because you don't watch enough podcasts dude hmm. there's a podcast for that uh, there probably is a podcast for that there probably is a podcast about disgusting human things there probably is an episode called pick em and flick em <laughs> You know what, Sally? I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's funny. So what about you guys? What have you guys been up to, huh? Hmm? I'm pulling a Dora Explorer over here. Dora the Explorer. Explorer? Explorer. Do, 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 Dora. Do, 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 Dora. Dora, Dora, Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Hey, hey. So what was your 
guys' week like? Good, I hope. What was your favorite part? I like that too. And then just stared at stare at the camera for like five seconds. Can you say delicioso? <laughs> the the live have you guys seen the live action door of the explorer that movie was actually really cute <laughs> it was, it was, i liked it a lot it, it, it was, was hilarious yeah it was it was not what i expected but at the same time what it was kind of what i expected uh in a sense because it was live action right and the, i don't know but they but they still like performed the cartoon like ideas yeah but honestly like if you look at the target audience of that movie like it makes sense i guess so so yeah cheers, cheers. to exploring all right cheers to all i don't know well, well did you ever have a door haircut we talked about take, take it, take it of course i did Did we talk about it? Yes. Hmm. What episode? Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I was talking about how I wanted long hair and my mom didn't let me have oh. long hair. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys ever have a a bad haircut given to you forcefully? By your one of your parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My my dad gave me a give me a haircut one time. I forgot what grade it was for. Before picture day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think picture day was like Monday or Tuesday or something. My dad gave me a haircut on Saturday or Sunday. I don't know over the weekend. He basically looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you Your know whole what? Skull was exposed, dude. Yeah, all deformed and shit. Oh my god! And you know what, Sally? That picture of me, like, um, I still had a cute smile. <laughs> you just look like this. Well, yeah, because yeah, you were literally a skull. Yeah. It's like, I'm still there. St you know, I'll pose and shit, just be all bald. You thought you were all stood or what? No, I, I forgot what grade it was, though. I think it was fifth grade. Dude, it's With so that wall? That, yeah. like, fake brick wall thing. Yeah. With the steps and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I don't know. Picture day sucks, man. I hated picture day. And then, oh yeah, in sixth grade, for some reason, like, the photographer caught me off guard or something. And, like, my I had, like, a lazy eye going on that day. And I had, like, a half smile. Because of your allergies? I was all, like... Ew. And I was like, Jesus Christ, man. I'm not giving this to anybody because it's embarrassing. Bro, I hated picture day. I don't know why, but I just, I don't know what it was. I think, I just didn't like the, like, attention and then everybody, like, in line watching you get your yeah. picture taken. And it was just super, take the picture. It was super awkward. Just take the picture. Okay, Ashley. Ashley Ker Kerwick. Ker Ker Kerwin? Kerwin. 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 Degrassi. Yeah. I started. <laughs> <laughs> I. Oh, hold on. My luggage is. Um, I started. <coughs> Sorry. Rewatching Degrassi The Next Generation on 2B, like, as a joke, just because we finished watching whatever we were watching. Vampire. Interview. <laughs> interview with the vampire. Oh, shit. Because we're. <coughs> but yes. God damn. Whew. Um, yeah. We didn't have anything to watch really. Mm -hmm. And so I I just put that on just to be funny. And now I can't stop watching it. It's funny. I Look, feel like I feel like this is like a bunch of doing? like high school embarrassment stuff. Or not even just high school, but just school embarrassments. So I guess what? I'm gonna share a story about like a what's what's kind of like an embarrassing story for me about during school. Okay. So one of them was uh, when I would go to the restroom, like I would drop my pants and underwear <laughs> like, all the way to the all the way to the ankle, like just straight up, just bam, 
in All high school. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, th- th- this this was my sophomore year. Oh, no, yes. no, I think this was like second or first grade or something. So it was RVT stuff, right? Okay. So I'm just there, you know, just bam, drop everything, bare ass, at the urinal, right? <laughs> just, that's just how I pissed. That's funny. just how I pissed. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing yelling me. I know. I'm just saying, like. It, it was, it was, that's just how, anyways, um, so my, 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 my best friend at the time, dude, this might've been third grade. <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> I know. So then I'm just like rethinking everything. Anyways. So I'm just there pissing away. My friend comes in and obviously he sees my whole ass and everything. And you know, he, he was the, he was the, the friend that like showed me of like. How to pee like a normal person. Yeah. Like, you know, just. Put your pants like, you know, <laughs> quarter ways down. Keep your ass in the pants, but get your dick out to pee. <laughs> <You're> fu- <laughs> okay. And it's like, in- instead of him being like. Like me, me, funny I mean, I mean if, if he laughed at me, I understand. I would laugh too. But at the same time, he still like, you know, stepped up he to the like, plate. He was like, bruh, yeah. let me show you. It was like, instead of like putting your ass out there for everybody to see, how about you like. Just take your dick out and pee. Oh, he didn't say that, obviously, but, um, but yeah, he he kind of showed me how to do it right, and I was like, wait, what? You can hold it. You can hold your like pants like that. And everything. It's like, yeah, all I have to do is just like <laughs> that, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then after that, I just, I tried it when I went home to go pee again. Put my pants kind of halfway down and pee that way and I was like dude that feels better <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah so it's like you know Stop, I'm yeah. just I'm just curious how many like people like saw my ass as I took a piss apparently everybody all the boys uh, maybe maybe that's why I was made fun of that's such a you thing to do it, it is a, that's fucking funny. <laughs> it is a me thing to do yeah okay so what about you what what is your kind of um i guess embarrassing moment in school um i couldn't really tell you because i like erased everything in my head mm-hmm. from like school so beats me so nothing popped up at all um, it, I would probably have to like, s- like sit there and really like think about it, mm. but I don't know. Uh, uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. We can do that. <clears throat> <gasps> Sorry. Probably. So <laughs> I remember one time I mom like she cut my bangs like right before school but she cut them too short and i was like fuck she's like okay like let's go to school now and i was like all right so i went to we're like in the living room i think and she like cut them and i was like oh fuck so i I ran to my room to get my backpack and then i walked by the bathroom and i looked in the mirror and i was like are you fucking kidding me like fuck like like, my face just immediately just, like, like, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was just, like, freaking out the whole time. So, get in the car. My mom drops me off at school. And the whole time, I'm just there, like, basically having a fucking whole-ass panic attack, right? Yeah. And then she drops me off. And I go in class. And I'm just there, like, as soon as I, um... Like walk walk in the door, like I grab my forehead and I'm just there like this oh. whole time. Uh-huh. And I was like trying so hard not to cry, but I couldn't fucking help it. Yeah. And I was just so fucking like, you know, like embarrassed as fuck, you know. And I was just holding my forehead, holding my forehead, and then the, like I was just like, you know, when you you know when you're crying when you're trying to hold it in, but it just gets worse and worse. No. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. But. but- it just gets worse and worse, and you just start, like, trembling and shit because you just want to scream and run away, but you yeah. can't. So the teacher comes up to me. She, like, notices me, and I'm like, oh, my God, and it gets worse. I'm like, why? Uh-huh. And <clears throat> she's like, what's wrong? And I was like, nothing, like, you know, 
Oh. Yeah. Nothing. Like, I was, like, sobbing, but I didn't say anything, you know? Yeah. And I just, like, shook my head, like, no. And then she's like, did somebody hurt you? And I was just like, no. And she's like, who was it? And I was, like, also very pissed off. Yeah. But I just, like, didn't want to look her in the eye because she was, like, in my face, you know? So I was, like, looking past her. (laughs) And I was, like, you know... And you don't, you angry. Don't, I was yeah, just so angry. You don't want the attention on right, you either. Right, right. So it's yeah. just like getting worse by the fucking minute. And I'm just like staring off into space, like really pissed off, like hoping like everything just goes away. And yeah. then she kind of like looks to like into the direction to where my eyes are looking. <laughs> and she sees this one kid sitting there just minding his own business. And then Picking his like, boogers and flicking them? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and... He's just there. He was probably wearing like a cowboy's jersey or something. Okay. I can I can like picture that. But uh-huh. um, she like looks over at him and then she's like, was it him? Did he hurt you? And I was just like crying and crying. And she's like, did he hit you on the head? Or like, you know, <laughs> I wanted her to leave me alone so bad. So I just said, yeah. yeah. I like nodded my head yes. And then she, <laughs> she like walked over to him and she started yelling at him. And he was like, what? What what did I do? I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? And I was just like, okay, I'm going to go sit down now and just fucking just keep my head down and <laughs> just sit there and cry and be mad all day. And that kid got in trouble or what? Yeah, he got in trouble. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. What, what grade was that? I think it was kindergarten. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it was kindergarten because like, like you know those trailers? You know those trailers? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I was trying to reimagine doing that. Well, I was just... I know. I didn't want but anyone yeah. to see Can, my, my ugliness. Yeah, okay, dude. I totally forgot about the... The trailers? trailers at, for kindergarten. Yeah. It was at, like in preschool front, in front and kindergarten. Of the, in front of, in front of the, the, the building, yeah. And then yeah. we would go to the building for like the library and yeah. whatever, whatever the fuck else. That's right. That's right. Shut up. Oh, goose. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call that a technical difficulty. No, that's just our dog being annoying. Being annoying, wanting to fight. Hey, this thing's annoying, man. She is annoying. We've had her for a whole year now. <gasps> Moo Moo. She destroyed my hat. She destroyed my hat. She ate half of my boots, half of my shoes. She ate like six of my chapsticks. She likes to go in the trash. She ate a handful of my favorite pens. She ate your glasses. She ate my shades. She ate two two TV remotes. Yeah. Um, she ate... Well, she didn't... You know, she just chewed them. She killed a cat. Did she? Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> I still love her, though. Pain, pain in my goddamn ass. I don't like her anymore. I'm just kidding. She's worse than the goddamn goat head. She's a mookie dookie. Do you want to take a shot? No. All right, ready? Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Ready. Ready, Freddy. Ready, Freddy. Ready as Freddy the Lobster. Wait, what's his name? Larry. Larry. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Soda. I was more specific. No, I was. No. No. I said Coke. No. You said soda. No. Eat my ass. <gasps> Ew. Mm, I want a good one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Arriba Cheers. el culo. <laughs> what was your guys' uh, embarrassing, school, embarrassing story? school moment or whatever? Damn, bro. I'll probably think of more. My whole life was an embarrassment. Mm. We all got those. Don't say, no, I don't have one. Yeah, you do. Don't lie to yourself. Nobody likes a liar. All right. So I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Get my Spanish word of the day. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Why? It's hard to pick one off the top of my head. I have to like look into it. Nobody wants to suggest them, so. You guys, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Suggest some words or something. Just say this. Damn. 
A lot of you speak Spanish. I don't. So. Just say this. Pick something. All right, what is it? Arriba el culo. Sit in, sit in. Arriba el culo. <laughs> um, above the ass. Above the ass. It means bottoms up. You know, bottoms up. Huh. Arriba el culo. Uh, I thought culo was like, you know, your butthole. No, Lucy. No. Well, tech, I mean, it kind of is, or just ass in general. So, you know, your bottom, bottoms up, mm. arriba el culo, you know. It's, ass up. Yeah, mm. basically. It's funny. Cause That's it's so like, weird. It's funny. Why is it weird? I don't know. Just it's funny Spanish. just because it's like, you know, bottoms up. It's the same thing as bottoms up when people say that when they do cheers. Mm. Yeah. She's just rowdy because everyone's rowdy outside. And it's not just our dogs that are barking. It's the whole fucking neighborhood. It's a full moon. <laughs> yeah, literally. Well, I mean, I wonder... it's not like a full full moon yet, but It's supposed whatever... to be... So the date is for... It's tomorrow's date, yeah. but does that mean that it's it peaks tonight after midnight? Or does that mean like tomorrow night it's... Uh... Right? So that's what I'm confused about. So the thing is is about a boot. A boot. A boot. A boot. A boot. Um, I'm sorry. So like at full moon at full moon could be at any point given at any, any given, given point, point in time. time. There you go. Uh as in like we could be noon o'clock noon o'clock. <laughs> Just kidding. We could be, you know, we could be high noon, right? What does that mean? Like, the sun is up. It's 12 o'clock on our time, right? Like, where we are at this point on point on the Earth, it's it's noon. But wherever the moon is, it could be a 100% full moon. Okay. Right? Okay. But by the time the sun goes down and the moon comes up, then the moon is now 99.7% full. Is it ever know? 100%? It is 100%. It is. Is it only... A hundred percent at like one point in time or like like in a certain for, part of the world or like what the heck? For what a, the hell is going on out there? For a brief like minutes, it's 100% and then it falls directly right out. Oh. So it, it's like just because it's a full moon doesn't mean it's always 100% full moon. Yeah. Like it's already out of 100%. It's like 99.9, 99.8. Like the that we're going to see it. Yeah. Oh. So it goes up, goes up, goes up, 100, and it starts going down, going down, going down, going down. Hmm. Yeah. So that's why some people say the full moon lasts for three days. Oh. Because it's 95% there and then 95% away. Pinchy Luna Yena. Yeah. It's dumb. Causing our dogs to get all crazy. All crazy. I wonder if, okay, so obviously we we... Where we live, we hear all the dogs, you know, but like ours are really fucking loud and it's really annoying. And it's like, do other people hear our dogs as loud as we do? Oh, totally. I kind of feel like they do. They do. For real? Uh, how do you know? Uh, well, my aunt told me oh. who lives over there. Well, she lives right there. but she's... Well, yeah, I guess. But and it's like out of this whole neighborhood, we have the biggest dogs. No, we don't. Do... No, the neighbor well, dogs. Okay. Those that, are that, those. That's that's, that's those what I meant. Dudes... That's what I meant. We. Oh, like, oh, okay. That okay our okay, neighbors okay. and our dogs have like the we have the biggest dogs, which yeah. have the project the loudest voice. Yeah. Compared to the rest true. of the dogs, they're all <laughs> medium or small. That's true, but <clears throat> I yeah no you're right because our neighbor dogs those are huge yeah mastiffs are big they you are know? they're fucking huge and it's like yeah big dogs. Big voices. That's why they sound more. <laughs> bless you. Gross. That's why they sound more. Um, you know. Loud. Loud, aggressive. <laughs> well, at least it's not like. Uh, terrifying. A donkey. Do yeah, I can't wait to have a donkey. Oh, it's gonna be so. Whenever cute. our donkey is like, you know, screaming and shit, and people are like, 
No, nope. those are the Talavera donkey. What is it called when the donkey noise? A bray? Bray? Donkey bray? Bray? Maybe. Bray, right? Isn't I, it bray? I don't know. I really, I really don't know. It could be. I don't know. Donkey. I think it is. Braying. Bray. Donkey bray sounds. Yeah, bray. Mm. Braying. I can't wait to have a donkey. You know, it should, you know, it would be really cool huh. to like have like all these like little like animals and shit, and to like train our like nephews and nieces to like <laughs> what, like train them to like be in rodeos and shit, oh. and have them compete. That'd be and fun. We could have them all be on like a little team. Aww, that'd mm-hmm. be cute. With I mean, we would old, need with the big old bow buckles. I'm not making fun of nobody. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Dentry. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that's fucking funny. No, but it'd be cool though, right? Yeah. Like, and then we can, you know, like they could be our little team. I mean, obviously, we would have to have somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing. To right. Them, of course. Know? Of course. Which I'm I have sure, no I'm, fucking idea. Right. I'm sure we'll find somebody that will like be willing to start Show a team them? with us or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then we can put like. We could ask Austin. Aww. Sure, he would know. We could put thing or two. a bunch of like, I don't know, just be more of a participant in that kind of stuff. Community? Do you have a bloody nose or are you just boogery? Boogery. You want a tampon? Please, so I can plug it up. 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 Plug so it sorry, plug Cassie. It up, plug it They're up. Gonna laugh plug at you. <laughs> so sorry, Cassie. What's the other what one? else does he? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> if you know what movie that is, <laughs> <laughs> points to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I fucking I love guess. that movie. I was gonna say, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say what? at this point. Um. So far. Plug it up. Yeah. Okay. This whole buy me a coffee thing. I just want to say thank you to Sue for uh, becoming a member. Becoming a member, Hell which yeah, is Sue. really awesome. I just hope you guys, the rest of you guys, follow her footsteps. Honestly, um, like yeah, right now we're still working on a bunch of stuff, but Sue, yeah. like I promise, like you're gonna get some cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're like not we're right all away. Working we're on a bunch of shit, guys. Yeah. Right? Like so. not right away, but you will get your shit. And we're not gonna like like we got you. We're, we're gonna, not gonna like we're gonna hook it up with some cool ass shit. Yeah, but we're not gonna like we got a bunch of stuff. We're not gonna <laughs> planned upcoming. <laughs> we're not gonna what? I keep saying the same shit. We're um, gonna we're gonna, we're not five, gonna yeah. get like the basic stuff. Like oh, this is the first thing that we came up with, and here we go. It's like we're no, we're, we're actually putting a lot of thought we're, into we're putting a lot of thought into it, and not not also... not too not too much like overthinking it, but so much of the thought of um we care about quality bro right and we're like it's like we know like the kind of stuff we want but we also want like like i said like the best quality of stuff and we're right. also looking like um local people that you know it's like how can we provide this for you but also how can we provide it for ourselves and just but, like uh, but kind also of, kind of this back and forth thing of yeah like we all get we all get good stuff out of it yeah instead of like for example, yeah. stickers, Ooh. like, whatever. It's just stickers. Um, you can get them anywhere. But, like, shot glasses, you know, yeah. engraved, personalized ones. Like, there's somebody out of Animus that does them, and I would rather go to, like, that person, you know. Yeah. Um, t-shirts, you know, there's a lot of people that do T-shirts locally, so I would rather, like, find that person, you know. Something that, Supporting some, local something business that lasts, and stuff. you know, lasts long. Yeah, like, not- good... 10 weeks like good quality stuff but also just you know like supporting local local businesses shit. and yeah. stuff like that so local local we're, shit yeah we're still good. working on things you know we've been pretty busy we're gonna be a lot busier Fuck, yeah i'm not ready <laughs> i'm 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 looking forward to it i, mean, I am it's, it's not too busy but it at the same time i'm you know, no, what? it's gonna. I'm, it'll I'm be a good it. busy. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna see a lot of people. We're gonna mm-hmm. meet a bunch of new people. Like mm-hmm. we're gonna have lots of fun for sure. It's just like, um, I just, 
I don't know. Like, I'm... If I don't have time to, like, sit down and fucking relax, like, oh, I'm gonna, like, not be okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I know. Like, I'm gonna have, like, really bad days. <clears throat> That's all. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, oh, shit, but sorry, yeah, what? Because I burped right into the microphone. Wow. Like, if I don't ever do that. Dude, my arm True. itches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody got a mm. tattoo. <laughs> I did, and somebody's jealous. I am very jealous. <laughs> I've only had one tattoo freaking 11 years ago. Hmm. Yeah, I got a tattoo. Right at this table. Right at this right table. There. Like, right, right across right, like, from this. Like, if you're. Right to on sit, the other side of this to, table. If you were to sit, like, right there. Like, two feet. That's where that's where it was done. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. And they, you know, it came out freaking awesome because <laughs> he's a freaking awesome tattoo artist. Honestly, it's funny cuz um I was like I'm getting a tattoo and then this guy was like in whose kitchen? And I was like my own. <laughs> he's all low. He's all yo look, this tattoo got infected because it was in someone's kitchen. This other tattoo got infected cuz whatever whatever and I was just like okay, well, mine's not going to get infected. <laughs> Because he knows he he knows what he's doing. No, but it, it's like you know, yeah, it was done in my kitchen, but it was, everything it was, was clean and professional, clean. Yeah, super professional. professional. Like it's not that hard to get like a clean tattoo in some random place. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean you can get a tattoo in any random place. And even if you get a tattoo but, professionally, you still have that same risk of infection. That's true. You know what that's I mean? True. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's fucking do it. And yeah, um, imagine being a person that you can't, even if you could be clean as possible, sanitary, doing all the right things, but yeah, still, but still just get infected with a tattoo. That a lot that of that has suck. to do with like the person's like all, like immunity and. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if, what if what if you were that like person that. though? That would suck. It's like all you ever wanted was tattoos, but yet for some reason. You'd get infected like, like, <coughs> oh, fuck, dude. Like, like, you just get infected. Yeah, that would suck. I mean, considering, like, it never goes away. Considering how, like, sensitive my skin is already. Yeah, that's but, true. Um, I haven't had any bad experience before, except with, like, yellow, which had a oh, weird Oh, yeah, reaction. I forgot about that. You're, you're, but, like, like, so far, so good. So your far, this was has been, like, weird. Like, I don't know. It was just, so far with like piercings and tattoos like i haven't had a, any issues yeah except for my nose because the jewelry was wrong <laughs> well was and then weird. also you're like you're uh you're allergic to uh, acrylic oh yeah that's yeah. true right? yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i can't wear acrylic um plugs or earrings because they it gets all gauges weird and yellow or something gets, no no uh, <laughs> it gets swollen and like really itchy and, and, like, and gunky this, no like it oh. gets all tough and weird like hard does it hurt you no it just itches oh. and then the skin gets really really hot and irritated yeah mm. it doesn't like get flaky or like you know it doesn't start oozing shit it just gets swollen and itchy and hot yeah like what the fuck it's weird ew it's you know what i miss i miss i miss your piercings here my forehead piercings yeah me too it's like it was really cool when you had those i agree and then like kind of sucks that like it rejected <laughs> yeah i mean it took a long time for it to reject but it's just because like that it's that's a sensitive area or something yeah and because yeah. like the way my forehead is like right here like you know that doing that it um moves the skin a lot so it kind of just high traffic oh. area kind of deal oh so it, yeah yeah um and even because of the way i sleep because i sleep like this and so it kind of like pushes my you know yeah skin and at that point in time too weird. you were very like you were like this the whole time too no, i wasn't oh i kind of was though you're like this whole time <laughs> Sorry, full of, I was full of hatred. Yeah. And misery. Yeah. Aw. Uh, hey, bastard. Hey, good morning, bastard. <laughs> good morning, Twinkie. 
Other bastard. Other bastard. Bull. Twinkie. Is it Twinkie? Is Twinkie a fucking Teletubby name? Twinkie? Mm-hmm. Right? Is it? Is it? Tinky Winky. Yeah, Twinkie. Tinky Winky. Mm-hmm. I got a new watch, guys. Hell yeah. I love it. I like it. What time is it? It is uh, crunch time. Cat. Or it's adventure time. Either one. No, but seriously, it is um, 11... 57. Three. It's 11.53. I can't read shit, I guess, apparently. Yeah, it's 11.53. You want to see? Mm. This. It was in my eye. That what, That thing was in your eye? Yeah. Yeah. That is disturbing. That gives me nightmares. Shut up. No, like seriously though, like Why? have you ever had a nightmare where like shit was like stuck in your eye? No. No? No. That's fucking I creepy. had a nightmare that like I was trying to pick something up but it was covered in little scorpions and they kept stinging me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, nightmares are <sighs> Nightmares are weird. Yeah. I, hate, I hate nightmares. Did you, did you know that scorpions sting you? They don't bite you. They sting you. So people right. are like, oh, I got bit by a scorpion. And it's like, no, you got stung oh, okay, by a scorpion. Yeah, because their mouth is like that big. So obviously they're going to sting you because they're a little... Whoppa! I don't know. Um. So what am I next... I don't know what it means, but one of my next tattoos is going to be a scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just because, I don't know, it was a cool picture. And it's like, he, the guy was like, home, homeboy was all, oh, it'd be cool to do that scorpion. And I was like, I was looking at it. It's really cool. And he's like, yeah, like, I would love to, like, tattoo that. Yeah. And I was like, I'm down. <laughs> Gimme. And then there's another, like, spider one it's like spider web with a oh, spider on yeah. it or something i don't know um but i was like that one's cool he's like i really like that one too and i was like all right let's do it but i don't know scorpions fuck scorpions <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. not really but um dream dreams dreams of being stung or attacked suggests you're possibly dealing with very scrupulous people or uncontrolled unconscious behaviors or instincts that are not controlled. Mm. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm ever out of control. I wouldn't say out of control, but so much more of a... You don't have control of. Yeah, that's true. Like, not being in control of stuff. Right. <gasps> what? I guess. Makes sense a little bit. Kind of does, yeah. Yeah. Like, your your whole, I guess, uh, grounds of what's been happening recently, I guess. I guess, yeah. Um, it's it's been tested, or not just tested, but just um, like f- different for you, I guess. That's true. Um, so also in the dream, I saw something that I was picking up, but I saw that it was covered in scorpions, so I like tried my best to like grab it and shake it off, but still some of them kind of got Stung me. Stung you? Yeah. Yeah, and I was like. Like, you little mother. Like, I grabbed it and, like, threw it. And, like, the little stinger was in there. So I would just, like, grab it and mm. pick it and flick it. <laughs> so I, I guess that kind of, like... was also another thing where I was, like, stepping on a bunch of them and killing them and shit. But also, like, they kept trying to crawl. Like, some of them did get me, but most of them I was just like, shit. Like, it's all good. I was just like, I'm good, everyone. Like, I've 
dealt with scorpion stings before. Like it's it's fine. I'm gonna be fine. On both hands. Fine. Yeah, I was just like, no, yeah. no, no, like it's it's cool. So, it's cool. So maybe like, that that could be like obviously like whatever like those those uh, dream interpretations are saying, but it's like in your dream you were you were removing them. Yeah. So like it's still so it's, it's still, still like, like hurt me, but I was still kind of like no no like it's fine it's gonna be fine like oh shit that really fucking hurts like oh shit like so obviously obviously like what it was what it was saying was like like about um you know uh it's like i feel like my dream i can't i can't exactly pinpoint of exactly what i was saying but it was um like challenges and shit challenges but and, like people and but with within family within things. like within me apparently like significant other like people who are close to you yeah but it's like things to where um it's nothing really new to you oh but you're just true. more of like getting over that like repetitive not just repetitive but like basically you're getting over a lot of these things that has been an issue before. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not bothering me as much anymore. Right. Like, whatever the problem is, it's like, I'm getting over it and through it. And it's like, no. Nah. Yeah. Like, oh, you're trying to hurt me. Oh, you hurt me a little bit, but it's just an irritation now. And, like, I'm going to get over it. And, right. Like, which which should be, like, an excruciating type of pain. Yeah. But you, in your dream, you're just kind of like... <laughs> I was no, I literally was like it, like I was so like, Ugh, like if, if if that's shit, it got me. That's that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Cause it it's still like like I still felt it, but it wasn't like, oh fuck, I'm dying. Right. Shit. I was just right. like no, because like, like that's how it that should be with scorpions. Before. I was gonna say something, but I can't remember what I was gonna say. We're gonna shit. <laughs> what was I, what was I gonna shit? We're gonna shit. Um, I don't remember. I don't want your ear to look at me. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want my ear to look at you. You know what, Sally? What were you gonna say? What would what would um Andy from the off office? What would he call you? Me? Yeah. Um, he'd probably. <clears throat> I don't know. Cell dog? <laughs> um, it depends on whatever first impression I would make on him. He'd probably call you Anne the Poonan. That's, nah. He'd probably think, he'd probably be like, whoa, is that your Halloween costume? Yo, whoa. <laughs> Ew. So, uh, whoa. <laughs> Some weird dumb shit. He, like he, whoa, he'd be like, "Whoa, is it Halloween already?" And I'd be like, "It's November 2nd. And then he'd be like, "Oh shit!" He, he would, like, he, he would, really spooked me there. He'd be like, "What up, spooky?" Or some dumb shit like that. I don't know. He would, uh, he would probably talk to the interview people, and be like, "He'd be all, I don't know, it was weird. Ew. She, uh, she scares me, but she gives me a boner. Ew. He would say something like that." Must <laughs> <laughs> I like whenever <laughs> one of his, my favorite quotes from him is um my sex is about to meet my ex <laughs> or my ex is about to meet my sex. I don't yeah, know. One something of those. like that. Some <laughs> bullshit. Either like way, that. like that shit is funny. He's such a fucking idiot. But another thing like that I noticed it's like he's literally Michael Scott's replacement. Like he's exactly like Michael Scott. But he's not him, so you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, that's dumb. That's, that's dumb. Anyways, this is a shot for you. For who? You. Me? Yeah, you. <gasps> why? Because. Because why? I mean, it's not only just you, but it's for you. Oh. And it's for you guys. I don't want it. I wanted it to be just for me. No, no, no. No, no. You have, you've had plenty of those. Well, I want more. <laughs> Did you feel that? What? That was weird. Kind of. You didn't feel that little like... Um... I did, but it was a little delayed for me. Yeah, it's weird. Anyways, cheers guys. Cheers.
You guys are great. Thank you guys for being here. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome that you guys are here. Mm-hmm. You know what? Sally? Hmm. Whatever it is that you guys are doing right now, you're driving, working out, cooking, cleaning, um, laundry, laundry. Um, what else do other people do? Doing their hair, getting doing their ready hair, for work, getting ready for work, getting their makeup, bathing your dog, bathing your kid, going for a walk, eating dinner, gardening, um. Doing yard work. Working. You know what, Sally? Mm. Whatever you guys are doing, it's for a greater purpose. Okay. Yeah. So just keep on doing it because you're there because you choose to be there. Yeah. And if you don't choose to be there. You still kind of do. Then, yeah, you still kind of choose to be there. So what is it that you guys want? And then do it. Do it. Right? Do it. Do it. Do it. What is it that you want? What is it that I want? I want to make movies. Okay. What? Oh, I was going to say. It's like, uh, we are trying to find some good time throughout October, even though we're busy. It's like, obviously, we both work and whatever, and every single weekend is, like, loaded up with stuff to do. work. So, it's like, uh... I really want to do some sort of movie, like a, a short movie or whatever. Just like a short film. Just a short film of, it's like, I hope to get it in time for something spooky because that'd be great because, you know, Halloween is right around the goddamn corner. And it's, it's like, right. I. it's right. It's true. It's right. Th- it's right there, man. And I want to do something. And it's like, whenever like Halloween passes, it's like. Can you still do something spooky? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's when you could... <laughs> you can, but it's just it just feels like you missed the deadline, you know? Well, the other day at work, so we have these little... One of my coworkers, she brought us little little pumpkins, little mini ones. Yeah. To put at our desks. This guy comes up the other day and he's like, Ah, oh, cool. Like, Halloween's about to... Come yeah. around. Come around spooky season, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, dude. It's Halloween every day for me, the fuck. And then he, because I have like stickers mm. from a coworker and I put them like on my little tip jar and like on the back of my computer or whatever. And so I forgot about them, but I was like, oh, yeah, you know, spooky season, whatever, whatever. He's like, scary movies. I only watch scary movies during October. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, I watch them every day. Yeah. <laughs> you watch Scream. Every other two weeks. No. If none, if that. But, um, I was like, oh, dude, like, wait, what? I was like, I love watching scary movies. Like, the fuck? Mm. What do you mean only in October? It's not right. <laughs> but he kind of was like, oh, makes sense for you, whatever, whatever. And I was like, yeah. Um, no, okay, yeah, but, whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, when I was cleaning up, like, my little work area, and I saw all the stickers that I had, and I was like, oh, I get it now. Because I thought it was because of the pumpkin, but it's because of, like, all the other stickers I have. So I have, like, a, I have a Beetlejuice one. Uh-huh. I have an Osferatu one. I have this little sticker that says creepy but cute. And then um, there's a Scream sticker. And then there's a little sticker that it's, like, a, a bloody hand. hand, And it says horror movies and chill or something like that. Oh. So it's just, all, like, all this spooky shit. And I was like, what are you talking about? Spooky it's season. Like, how would you know? Yeah. Spooky season never ends. What the fuck? But. So, uh, okay, funny. so that comes to my other point. It's like, is it better to. Um, yeah. Is it better to release movies during spooky. Like, a scary. Uh, yeah, did I say scary movies? Yeah. Yeah. Is it better to release scary movies during spooky season or. Does it matter at all? Mm. Or it doesn't matter? Does? Does? Doesn't? I think that. Scary movies come out throughout the whole year all the time. But if it's a, a scary movie or 
something that has to do with spooky season. Like if it's a Halloween themed kind of. Oh, okay. If it's like Day of the Dead kind of thing, or if, you know, obviously October is the best time to release scary movies. But right, because that's when majority even, of the population yeah, watch scary movies. But even then, like throughout the whole year, like there's a whole like lot of people that whole love, fandom that love horror movies. Yeah, that's true. All year, every day. So it's it's still an open theater i guess of people to watch yeah of course scary movies this fall this summer you know midsummer yeah, yeah true you know yeah because like you, you can create a scary movie at literally anywhere right mm-hmm. yeah anytime anywhere summer winter spring fall school house yeah, but yeah, like I said, like there's a whole lot of people that love horror movies, Damn and it. it's better to I don't know if you're a horror movie like lover, it's better to watch them throughout the whole year, and if horror movies come out when it's not spooky season, it's even better. I mean, for mm. me, like I prefer to. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, <laughs> but but okay. So overall, back to the question, like that's what I want to do is I just want to make freaking. Movies, man. You want to make horror movies? I well, I mean, mm. I like it. I, I I'm not against it. I do like it. I just, but my, I don't know. I just want to make movies, like just movies, 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 movies. But that's like obviously, like we've been doing this whole podcasting for a while, um, because that's we're we're trying to be serious about this, and making it weekly, right? But. Whenever something comes up to where we have this opportunity to make movies, it's like that's what, that's basically that's basically where I want to be. Yeah, is doing this podcast um, just to update you guys on what we're doing, and make some freaking. We should movies. do. Like, obviously, like my nightmares and shit, my little night terrors. Those yeah. are pretty fucking scary. We should do some based off of those. Mm. We could Pretty make little cool. shorts out of those. Yeah, that's true. I mean that's that's basically where we could start. Where you off. like wake up and it's just a it's just a fucking nightmare or whatever, but then shit starts happening in real life and shit. Ooh, I got I got lots of those. So, well, write them. Start writing them. What's I time? freaking told you from years ago. It's like write your shit, but you never do, and then you forget about them. No, I don't. You don't forget all of them, but you forget some yeah. of them. You forget some of them, where I was like, dude, you should write it. And what were those moments? I don't know, because you didn't write it. Well, I know what they are. Which moments were they? There's a lot of them. Which one? Name um, one. Like, the first one that I can remember was when we were we we're on that house that was Oñate. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember that one. That was creepy. It was, like, alienish, And it had to do with Lady. And... It was creepy. Mm. But I remember that one. Okay. I remember a bunch of them. (laughs) They're creepy as fuck. Either way, write them. If you guys got some sort of idea or whatever, write them. Write it down. Just write it down. Get yourself a little sketchbook. Even if it's Honestly, sketchbooks are the best. Even if it's a sticky note, just freaking write it. I like sketchbooks because it's like you know, writing is so freaking sheets and you can just write free. whatever. You know that? And the paper is usually thick. You know that? What? The writing is free? Yeah. Well, duh. Well, I mean, yeah. That's awesome. Do you guys? Did you guys ever have this little snack? Of course you did. If you didn't, what are you uh, waiting for, Gary? Um, get yourself a. Saladito. A what? Salad, s- saladito. Saladito. Yeah. And a lemon. And just. This is like a okay. So if you sucker in there. If you grew up going to like Tucson a lot or <coughs> Arizona a lot, this is normal for you. But a lot of people don't even know what this is. I guess so. I grew up on the farm with this. My dad did this for. Sh- for us. <laughs> but yeah, because we're closer to Arizona. 
Oh, I suppose. And people in Arizona are from Sonora. This is a Sonora thing, kind of. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I started choking on my own spit. Yum. I want to choke on your spit. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, my, my dad, obviously, my dad had a lot of beer and stuff. So he always liked lemon with his shit. And lime. So it was very common for us to have a snack. And that snack was salt and lemon. Mm. So fucking good. <gasps> oh no, you dropped the seed in your... Whatever. In my beer? Yeah, I dropped the seed in my beer. That's exactly what happened. Look, tattoo. Boo. Isn't it cool? You like it? Do you like it? It's cute. I like it a lot. My mom was all, is that real? I was like, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? She's like, what is it? What is it supposed to be a hat? I'm like, yeah, it's totally a hat. And I was like, no, it's a U. It's a flaming U. It stands for bumping uglies. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. It's August Stupid. Burns Red logo. Oh. What? August Burns Red. It's a good band. Oh, I love that band. Honestly, they've all like, not always, but they've been my favorite band for a really long time now. And, you know, their shows are amazing. And I, I love Freaking badass. I, their shows are so fun all the time. Like, I've never had a bad time at one of their shows. And, like, I just always <laughs> feel like alive and it's just cool I oh dude i know it's exactly shit. what you're talking about even like just listening to their music in general like really loud and just jamming to them like it's just like such a good feeling all the it's time like if i were to witness like my pupils like expanding <laughs> seeing them that'd be really cool honestly yeah because like that's that's how i feel it's like seeing them is just so like <laughs> it's just a good time all around yeah yeah so like obviously um, like i'm jumping and dancing and doing everything like yeah you know, just I feeling think... it but at the same time i'm just like so drawn into like every single member like yeah doing their, their shit yeah. yeah and i don't know just something it's just, like they it's yeah just, it's like they're they're not obviously obviously they're performing but they're not like um performing to make money right to... right like they're, they're performing they're because performing like, th like this is their this is their craft this is their yeah. art and that's what they're just like owning yeah. or owning honing honing <laughs> yeah i know yeah. what you're saying i don't know i just you know it just felt right yeah um definitely because the guy that did my first tattoo he actually is this guy's mentor, and he's like, this guy was like, oh, yeah, and, you know, he's like my best friend. He taught me everything I know. He pulled me out of a dark place, and now he's really passionate about tattooing and stuff like that, and, like, that's fucking awesome. Like, I want a tattoo. He's like, for real? I'm like, yeah, but, like, he's still starting, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like, he's talented as fuck, so I'm like, yeah, give me a tattoo. Let's do it. And it, he fucking killed it. It came out sick. Mm. He was like, he's very like light handed, if that, if you know what I mean. Okay. Like the soft or whatever. Soft. Yeah. Like just super gentle and yeah. Ow. I don't know. Just. I've cut my lip. Ow. Like. Yeah. I hear. Gross. But on the, on no, he, he just, you know, he was really good at it and. I was like, man, I haven't had a tattoo in like five, six years. So I was a little nervous and I was like, oh shit. Cause I don't know. It's just like, ooh, it's a tattoo, you know? Yeah. I was just, I don't even know what I was nervous about. It was just, you know, whatever. But, you know, as soon as he, as soon as he like hit the needle, hit my skin, I was just like, oh. Well, that's that. Yeah. And I was just sitting there the whole time, like, oh, this is amazing. Ah. <laughs> 
I was like, I was just like so stoked, and I was like, this is great. This is awesome. And I've had people be like, oh, did it hurt? And I'm like, no. Really? Yeah, no, it didn't at all. I was just more like excited and happy yeah. about it. And I think the only like, it's like, oh, it's starting to hurt. And then I was like, oh, never mind. I was like right here. Yeah. Kind of, I don't know, get blowing over it a little bit. Not really, but. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, I feel it now. And I'm like, no, it's fine. But. It's kind of different from the others. Obviously, it's fresh, but. Different? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, yeah, it's different, but I think it's like, it fits still. Yeah. I need more. <laughs> right? Yeah. Definitely going to start with this arm and go from Go there. from there. Yeah. I would too. <laughs> I felt bad because the guy that did yours was like obviously like super stoned. Yeah. 11, 11 like, years? No. Yeah, 11 years. Because I got it in 2012. Oh, then yeah. Yeah, 11 years. 11 years. 11 year old tattoo. And that's the only one I've got because. I don't know. Just haven't really. I mean, like, I do want more, but like. Do you want more? I do want more. But like, just never really gone out of my way to go. Get one, I guess. Mm. I don't know. It's like I, I know what I, I know what I want. Yeah, I know what I want to like get done and everything like that. Just <clears throat> haven't taken that extra step to be like, I'm gonna go get a tattoo. It's like it'll happen when it happens. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah. There was something I was gonna like ask you about. I can't remember what it was. I've been forgetting a lot of stuff tonight. It sucks. Whatever it takes. <laughs> I know I can make it through. Ew. Mm. I know what it was. What? I've been drinking my beer, right? Okay. The seat is gone. Oh, wow. Did you? Did anybody ever tell you that if you ever ate a watermelon seed? You're going to grow a watermelon in your tummy? Yeah. Well, guess what? <clears throat> I got like 20 of those inside of my stomach right now. So you have a whole ass like garden? If I were to shit Big like old a, field. a watermelon right now, I could. On Ew, command. You're sick. On command? Do it. On command. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. You want to take another shot? What? You want to take another shot? For what? Take it where? For fun. Take it to the curb. Take it outside. Take it downstairs. Take it upstairs. Take it. Where else can you take a shot? On in, the patio. Do you want to take car. it on the, on the, in the car? At the balcony? At the bar? I want to go to a bar. Yeah, I want to go to a bar, too. I love bars. Bars are fun. Like dive bars or just like, what kind of bars? Yeah. Handlebars? Just kidding. What so, kind of, what's your favorite kind of bar? Like, what's, what's your favorite bar that you've ever been to? Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Favorite bar I've ever been to? Yeah. Coin up. For real? No. No. No, I nah. mean I did like coin up, but shit. Coin up, what's coin up? The one in San Diego. It's a downtown San Diego. I arcade, don't know, just, it's the arcade bar. Yeah, the arcade bar. But pretty much that whole night, every single bar that we went to was like the bar that I want to be at. Pretty fun. Yeah. It was just I don't know, like obviously like you could be at one bar. Doing your shit, whatever, hanging out, meeting some people, whatever. 
And then you're just like, all right, I'm going to leave. You like bar hopping? I like bar hopping. Yeah. I do too. Definitely. And it's yeah. like, especially in a town where, well, not just a town, obviously. San Diego is city. A city where, where we, there's a lot of people. And you there's... just have no idea who they are. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's like, it's just a, it's just an opportunity to like meet people and hear different stories and just like. That's true. I don't know, just dive into something that's like you never thought possible. You just go out and see a bunch of shit. Yeah. And it's like you go into a certain bar and you're like, hmm, this vibe's cool. Yeah, and you don't even have to like talk to the person either. You just have to like witness their like. Having a good time. Having a good time. It's yeah. like, dude, that's like like those people over there is having a fucking awesome time. Like, I'm not saying we're not having an awesome time, but I'm saying like those people are having like. Fun. a grand old time like yeah. it's like dude it's like i don't know i'm always like looking for a story i'm always looking for uh i guess like an inspiration Adventure? no oh. inspiration for like what could be possibly uh a scene in a movie oh you know what I mean? oh yeah 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 no totally and i'm, I'm just like looking at like not just like what the action is but i'm looking at the colors, I'm looking at, like, the lighting positions. I'm looking at, like, everything that just creates a, this whole aspect of, like, that looks fucking sick. Yeah. I Yeah, no, I, I feel you. Um, I like to meet people, random people, and just have fun. Yeah. Good conversations. Oh, yeah. Um, well, obviously that, too. You know, yes. like... I Sorry. like just the interaction of like, you know, you're telling them a bunch of random shit about yourself and then mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you hear damn. their story and how they relate and you're just like, wow, cool. And you, you know, just building connections and shit like that. Yeah. Or just like having fun with, you know, whatever. It's just, it's cool. I just, I love bars. <laughs> yeah. People getting drunk and having a good time and you're getting drunk and having a good time too. And it's like. You know, nothing else matters right now. We're here in this moment. We're vibing, you know. So that's cool. Dude. All uh, we ever... <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to, like, toot my own horn or anything like that, but... All we ever do is have fun. That's all we want is just to have fun and just have a good time. Just to and, enjoy life, honestly. Yeah, it's like... Honestly, like, yeah, no, like... Ew. All the complicated things, you know what, Sally, that stuff could just go away not just go obviously we want them to go away but they could just hang out in the corner because right now we're just trying to have fun yeah you know what i mean yeah sally yeah are you okay yes are you drunk a little bit oh dude i got freaking stoned Look, I'm, today. I'm, I'm, I'm drunk oh. but also you're just a little buzz really tired are you? Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's been a long day. Yeah, I agree. But so it's like Hopefully. I'm 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 still like able to hang and do my shit, but obviously I'm gonna be very um. So you ready for bed then? No, I'm not you ready for bed. Out? No. You're not I, gonna hang out with me. No, I'm still gonna hang out with you. Psh. I'm just saying like I'm still gonna like do what I need to do and hang out and have fun and everything like that. But I'm saying like I'm gonna be kind of loopy and open, <laughs> but just because it's just been a day. Oh, yeah. It's been a whole It's fucking, been a week. Yeah. And then it's going to be a month. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the month of October. It's going to be busy. I am. Like, September was busy. But October is going to be... <laughs> for sure. Busy. Yeah, no, it's going to be busy, but it's going to be fun. Um, I just want to get overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah no i'm i'm not it's gonna I be a little tough yeah for sure i don't but. feel i don't feel overwhelmed i'm like really like obviously well, like yet. everything Dang. is like really scheduled and up to the point you know up yeah. here but like i i like that though yeah you like i being like busy i like being busy okay. i like being i do like being busy too yeah and productive right yeah yeah but i also um need to come back and Take like this. recharge definitely we always need to recharge yeah mm. 
Hmm. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. Hmm. It's smooth. Yeehaw, bitches. Smooth, motherfucker. Smooth. Mm -hmm. mm. Stop. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> Ew. Sally, you know what? <laughs> I just want... <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, that little ting... From the seat hitting the plate? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. That 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 took me out of my character. <laughs> well, <laughs> you weren't even in character to begin with. I was... You're all, you're all you know what, Shelly? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was already there to begin with, huh? Yeah. Um. Dante. No, I, I do want to go to go to Mexico. <laughs> what? You want to go to Spanish? <laughs> I, I do want to go to Spanish with you. Nah. Let's no, go. I, I Let's go do. In. I do want to go to Mexico. I want you to go to Mexico. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go to Mexico. It's like, like not just like oh, I want to go to what? What the fuck is it called? Rocky Point. Yeah, <laughs> that basic ass shit where everything is like basically English at this point. Pretty much. I want to go. Wanna I want to go like in Mexico. You don't want to go to the touristy places. Right. You I want to go, go to... to where like everything is like still cultural. Yeah. Still like yeah. old raw school. Old and school. Still, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where it's supposed to be. Like you want a vacation to Mexico but you don't want like a a touristy Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Where I it's know. like, dude, I could buy this shit back at home for like, five you bucks, actually, not twenty five fucking dollars. Like you actually wanna or whatever go it is. and I could be exaggerating, but you actually wanna go and understand like the like legitimate culture, how people live, like everything, like the food, like you want the whole like you want a taste of what like Growing up, there's like yeah versus like yes exactly. Oh, I'm here for vacation to have fun only. Like you want to go to Mexico, you want to like actually experience the life and see what it's like and the culture right. and the food and the the just you know you yeah want to experience the actual thing, not not the touristy thing because the touristy thing is what going to bars and partying. Basically, the beach, like or whatever vacation, you know, vacation, yeah, yeah. But actually, going there to like raw dog it and shit, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 fun. It's a little rough because it's hot. I'm, Nobody has air conditioning, you know. Um, what you do for fun is you go for like hikes or you go chill by the river or you cruise around and listen to music or you sit on the porch and just. People watch, you know. Um, I've I've been through rough. Yeah, know? yeah, but like I'm like I said, like it's it's not. It's like typical, but it's also very like, um, very. It's pretty satisfying, just because you know you're away from your social media. You're not on social media all the time, right? Um, you know, you're listening to music, or people are playing music, or you know, you go. You go. Oh, sorry, I was about to sneeze. Oh, you're good. You go and buy a fucking chicken to make for dinner. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you spend the whole day cooking and talking shit as a girl, as a woman. You spend yeah. the whole day like preparing a big old meal for everybody, and the whole time you're like talking shit and joking and partying and just having fun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys missed out. But. But like, yeah, no, they can't it's, even it's just fucking see my thumb. There it is. It's it's fun. It is fun. It's a little rough, like I said, but it's it's yeah. still a good time. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah. That's and not, that sounded like a Spanish term right there. What I said. I bet. Yeah. Of 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 Aved? No. Mm-hmm. Aved? No. Aved. 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 We'll Aved. see. Yeah. That's it's almost like, as, that's Oh, remember Justin? Oh, I miss Justin. That's what? almost the same as I bet or No, bet. it's not. Is it? No. No. Because it's like like um 
say if I take a picture of you, and I'm all, Poof, and then you're like, Avid, 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 like, Avid, and it's like, let me see. Or oh. it's like, it's like, okay, we'll see. Well, to see, to see. That's what it means. Like, see, like, S-E-E. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. How do you say orange in Spanish? Naranja. <laughs> what? Naranja. Naranja. Cheers, Cheers naranjas. Cheers. Cheers. Little perverts. Why are they perverts? I'm just kidding. Because they're watching us. <laughs> Pervert. I'm just kidding. Oh, hey. Look at that. They worship you. Is that a scab? No, it's a... Uh, oh, a it's a mole? Okay, so it's mine. Look, we have the same mole on the same arm. Wow. Wow. Is there more? No, we have one right there, but... And... Yeah. That's funny. We have I have one right there. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> we what? have We have similar um, moles, birthmarks, beauty marks, whatever you want to call but them. But we're not related. At all. How do you know? Exactly. I'm just hmm. kidding. No, we're no, we're not. Watch well, us take a twenty three in me and we're like <laughs> we're like ninety ninety eight percent um related. Yeah. No. We would look more like No, we Okay. Explain the goddamn moles. It's just this mole God that that bitch that ain't got nothing mold. to do with shit, alright? Moles? Okay. <laughs> okay, relax. relax. Out of your entire relax. fucking body. Yeah, but to get a mole. But why would it be in the exact same goddamn place? It's not in the exact same goddamn place. Yours is weird looking. That's not a mole. That's like some fucking weird. That's still that's birth still a, defect or some shit. That's still a damn mole. A mole or. <laughs> Still a mole. I'm just playing. But there's no way because like everybody that I'm related to, I look exactly like all of them. Yeah. Like we have a lot of similarities. So, no. I look a lot like my mom's. I look a lot like my mom's side, but there's also a lot of similarities to like my dad's side too, which is like really weird. Remember yeah. that picture I showed you of my dead sister? I know. It, it's it's, it's <laughs> really weird that, like, we're not related. The way genes work? Oh. We're not related, but, like... No, we're just married. We're just married? We don't have any physical similarities besides... Right. But besides, that's, like, that's, the moles that's, or That's what I'm trying to whatever. say. It's like, it's we, we have, like... Being... That's just skin. At some point in goddamn time, our great 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 grandparents porked, fondled with each other. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I, if you would have just said, if you would agreed, if you would have agreed with porked, I would have been like, oh, okay, cool. But you said fondled and it made it so much worse. You're gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like. <laughs> How do you explain the goddamn mole thing? But it's not even a thing. It is a thing. No, it's not. Think about it. Moles dude. are like. What? <laughs> the mole has to come from somewhere, from somebody at some point in time dude, to pass it common, down. No, it's just a little okay, dot on they're your They're fucking skin. common because they have fucking the same goddamn parents no, they at some don't. point in time. I don't have anything like any of mine, like. Nobody else has them except for me. Oh, we have fucking yeah, but they're opposite. Chest. They're not even on the same side. Or they're anything. on the same fucking chest. It's one boob. Everybody has them all on their boob. Get okay, because it. we all came from the same fucking Spaniard. God damn. And Mexican. It's like that island that you were talking about. Oh yeah, about the the guy that fucking pi- was he a pirate? No, he wasn't a pirate. He oh. just pregnant. He was a. Was he a Viking? No, he was not Viking. 
Um, like, we're going to take that many shots. We're already out of our I know, right? The food? Some sort of Spaniard. But yeah. I no, not Spaniard. Like a... European. Sorry. Not Spaniard. Spaniards European. aren't European? They are European. But I'm saying that he wasn't Spaniard, I don't think. But he was some sort of European who was sailing across the world, landed on an island. Impregnated everybody. Impregnated a bunch of chicks. I thought he impregnated, like, I thought, okay, so what was his name? Do you know? I don't know. Mm. It was an Some island. Guy he impregnated all of them. Sailed to an island. He fornicated with a bunch of them. But he, he made it a rule to where, like, nobody else, no other men that he was sailing with could fornicate with any other women except for him. It was like, he, like, it was forbidden he he made a rule like you can't do that because he was the only one that was allowed to go and like mate with all these women and impregnate all of them and then before well, he knew I mean, it he didn't intentionally impregnate them but i thought that was his whole point to like his little legacy type shit but then he didn't like really think things through and then everybody ended up being related so then they all became like fucked up <laughs> yeah it just, it got fucked up they're all much. brothers and sisters and cousins and essentially aunts and uncles and i gotta sneeze <coughs> that's you oh god fuck allergies damn the worst you know what sucks sally you know what sally cheers 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 my makeup's probably all smudged under here, but I don't even care. I think I'm gonna be Marilyn Manson for Halloween. Hmm. You should be Johnny Depp. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's not a bad idea. You know what, Sally? It's our last shot. Yes. Um, let us know if you've had a limon con, a, con un saladito or, or an orange with a saladito. Let us know where you first tried that. Yeah. And like, what? what is the... What's the story behind it? Whatever. But whatever. I grew up with this shit. It was normal yeah. for me. Same. It was, all, um, it was all good with the farm. Yeah, but... I don't know. Um, what else... You know what? What should we be for Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? Yeah. I need you know ideas. Like, I kind of want to be Elvira, but, like, I don't want to wear a wig or cut my bangs. Comment, Should guys. I be Morticia? Comment. Comment. I, I'd be down to be Morticia, but then I need, like, an Adam, or not an Adams. Mm. You know? Yeah. And then the little the hand and shit. I don't know. I think you should be uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. That'd be cool. Or you can be, you could be, um, you could be Axl Rose. I'll be Anthony Kiedis. No. That was Shit. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. It's easier for we'll me figure to be out. I get to Anyways, shoot. sorry for the late episode, but yes. we're here, we're doing it. And you know what, guys? It's all about the grind, okay? If you're serious about something, you're gonna grind.